Hello out there to you. Let's do a monetary policy example question. So I've got some data uh, from just a, a model, uh, 2019 and 2020. Here's this. So I got money supply. This is the amount of money in the monetary system. Velocity of money is the average time it takes to spend money throughout the economy. So when that speeds up, uh, we'll see well, more spending. Uh, and when it slows down, it usually happens during a recession. Now, in, the, in this problem, both of them are the same. So we usually say that velocity of money is constant. And then real GDP is the inflation-adjusted uh, GDP. Okay, so this, uh, this wants the price level. So we have to use this formula. It's called the quantity theory. Oops, quantity theory formula or model or however it's phrased in your particular textbook. And what it is, is it's the money supply times the velocity of money. And that is going to equal the price level times uh, real GDP. And you could also use Y for real GDP. Okay, So I just need to set this up and solve for what I don't know. So I know a little bit bigger. So we'll use a different, uh, different font too. So first, what we do know, uh, we know the money supply. So let's do 2019 first. Okay, so 2019, the money supply is 1,000 times 8, because that's the velocity, and then equals 12,000 times the price level. Okay. So now I've got 8,000 equals 12,000 PL. And I'm just solving for PL. And so if I put uh, 8,000 over 12,000, I get um, 0. Point, or sorry, 0. 0.67. But expressed as a percent is going to be 67%. I'm rounding. Okay, so that's. That's 2019's answer there. And then next, I want to do the same thing, but for 2020. So just plug in what you know. Times 8 equals, again, 12,000. We didn't change our, our real output. And we solve kind of the same way we did the before. 12,000. Now, in this case, I'm just going to write that as a percent. We get 70%. Okay. So now I'm all set there. Okay. And then it wants the rate of inflation between 2019 and 2020. And so for this, this is a, the, just the percent change formula, which is new here, new minus old. So I just find the difference between the two numbers divided by where we're coming from, the old, and then we'll multiply that by 100. Okay, so in this case, it's 70 minus 67 divided by 67 times 100. Not that good. So 3 divided by 67 is 0. 0.4, like 4.4%. Uh, so we go with 4.4%. Percent, and if you want to round that, it rounds up to 4.5. Okay, so that's how to use that. You just use this. Uh, to solve for that. Why do we care? Well, we use it to figure out if the change in the money supply, how much inflation might we be able to predict. So here you go. 